So you want to live the van life. You're ready to move into your tiny home on wheels. There's just one problem. You're used to living in great big spaces, but now you're moving into this tiny home. Sure, there's storage. But how are you gonna fit all of this into that tiny space? You think we can do it? Yeah. I don't know what she's talking about, but yeah. The other thing I forgot to mention is that we've got two days to do this, so yeah. let's get started. Step one, sell everything that you can. For the last six months, I have been selling off any and everything. I have an account on Poshmark, so I've been selling clothes there. We took clothes to a consignment store and got a bunch of cash from them. We've been selling electronics, video game systems, drones, even books. I sold books back to this website that just takes your books and gives you cash. Made 75 bucks from that. Selling everything. We've probably made around $2,000 just from selling things. More than that. We made $2,000 just on electronics. Can you believe that? Sell the stuff that you know that you're not going to need. Whether it's out of date, whether it's too big, it's not going to fit. Just get rid of it. Don't get a storage locker. It's stuff you weren't using anyways. Sell it. Step two, lose all motivation and freak out for a little while. Step three, music. Oh, that didn't, that's not a banger. Let's do this. All right, so my plan here is to basically pile like items together. All the kitchen stuff is together, all the shoes are together, all the electronics are together. I have a pile of stuff I know for sure we're gonna need in the van, and then a pile of stuff that I wanna donate. So I'm just throwing stuff in piles and filling up garbage bags. Step five, baby. Get overwhelmed and take a bunch of stuff to a donation box because there's too many things here and you just need a break and you just have to get rid of some stuff so it looks like you've made some progress. These are all the clothes that I was trying to sell that didn't go so I'm just going to get rid of them by donating them. Step 6. Consolidate big bulky items into smaller portable containers and then wonder why you own three giant packs of Q-tips in the first place. Why do I own so many shoes? How did we end up with so much extra construction stuff? Is all of this really going to fit in the van? This stuff is on its way to Goodwill. Why did I live with it for so long? Our little kitchen pantry is coming along. Next step, give the stuff away that you can't sell. We're on our way right now to give these what are they called? These are shoe racks. Shoe racks and the mirror and my bulldog. This guy uh, to some friends of ours. The stuff we couldn't sell, I've been taking pictures and sending it to people and saying, what do you want? Yeah. And people are taking it. Somebody just came a little while ago, took my little desk, and... Now shoe racks are getting out of here. We got the dog, and we're going to keep taking pictures and keep sending them out. Yeah, you got to get rid of your stuff. We don't want so a storage want locker. It, come get it. I was kidding. This video is very late. We're already living in the van. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> Help me, I can't move. Okay, <laughs> Alright guys, it is a new day and I'm feeling pretty good. I've got stuff in piles, which doesn't look like progress, but we're getting there. The whole goal of this is to not have a storage locker, to not have stuff in other people's houses. We're literally getting rid of everything that we own to move into the van. Crazy, I know, but it's happening. The Marie Kondo folding method is actually really easy, and then you end up with storage bins like this, so you can see exactly which shirt you're pulling out, and then it's easy to get in and out, so this is like a really good way to store a lot of clothes in a little space. Okay, I've got all the kitchen stuff in here, I'm gonna start putting it in the cupboards. These ones are secured with the magnet, and then also with this, what's this called, Frank? And a gas strut. So the gas struts and the magnets will keep the doors closed. Fingers crossed. The other thing that over the last like year, we purchased plates and stuff that aren't breakable, so we're not really worried if they fall out. Hopefully they don't, but if they do, no big deal.
Okay guys, it's another new day and I've got a new problem. We went through all the clothes and I picked out what I thought I needed and now I have one, two, oh, we can't see three and four. They're down here though. But then I still have all these that I think I want more. I don't know, so now I have to go through these bins and decide what I'm actually keeping and what I'm not. This is hard. Okay, well I guess I'm getting rid of you. Let them go, baby. That's what I'm doing. It's just hard. If you're anything like us, you ended up with a bunch of extra fittings from Home Depot. So I just went over there to return some of the stuff that we didn't actually end up using for the plumbing system and things like that, and swap them for hooks because we need hooks. So many hooks, so many things to hook. Let's hook them. Today, in the back of the car, we're actually going to be installing our bike system. So we're going to put both bikes in, fit them in, see where they need to go, and then. We're gonna lock them in place. They're locked in place. They're not going anywhere. That's how you install the bike mounts. Next, let's see what we can get in here now. Frank's still building stuff. We call him Frank the Builder. How's this? Frank the Builder is putting in a little underwear and sock cabinet. Because we have too many underwears and socks. Yes. So the next lesson in all this is sometimes you just gotta completely throw your plan out the window. I thought this was gonna be a great nook for pantry items. But as it turns out, we have way too many shoes and nowhere to put them. So I've moved all the pantry stuff into the cupboards above and below the sink. And now this is going to be my little shoe heaven. You know all that super cool van life stuff everybody's always doing? We haven't got there just yet. Right now it's just a ton of work. All right, time for another trip to Home Depot. What you doing? Get rid of the bed. Get rid of the grandma. I need to break it down. One more thing out of the house. <laughs> Oops. I have a question for you. Yes, I got an answer, hopefully. Are we just really bad at this, or does nobody else talk about how much bullshit there is to move into one of these? Nobody talks about the bullshit, and because everybody wants to spoof it up and make it seem really nice. I it's mean, gonna be really nice. Yeah. It's just like a lot of work to get in here. A lot is not saying enough. I mean, did you guys see the house earlier? Did you show them the house? Oh. 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 We were trying to move out yesterday. Yeah. And then we were trying to move out today. And now we're moving out tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow's not tomorrow. So You think? No, I think I think we're done after this. I think by tomorrow, tomorrow like evening We should be ready. We'll to be go. ready to go. Mm -hmm. The only way to get through it is to laugh. Yeah. Uh we have to figure out how to put these in. We have to mount some brackets. We gotta mount a paper towel holder. We still gotta figure out where all our stuff is going. Cause there's still piles and piles of stuff yeah. to get in here. And every crevice is very full. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get to it. And we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. You almost hit yourself with that. Hi, my name is Frank McCullough, and I just farted. <laughs> okay, so we're officially sleeping in the van tonight. This is our first night sleeping in the van. Since it's been since finished. Since it's been finished. We slept in it when we went to Canada. You'll have seen the videos on Frankie's channel. Um, it was basically a wooden box. Pretty much. Yeah. Honestly, I liked it like that. No, I'm just kidding. I know. We got so used to it like that that, like, by the end of the week, we were like, "This is great. We could live in it like this." And now that we actually have furniture, and, cabinets, like, and all this stuff, it's fabric a, wall. It's absolutely, it's absolutely amazing. But it definitely closed the space down. We're still not moved in. We've still got piles of stuff in the house to deal with. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. 
For sure. For sure. What's really hard though is like minimalizing, like realizing that you don't need a lot of things. Because I'm sure that as we're on the road and as we're doing things, we're gonna throw out even more stuff or give it away, yeah. or or donate it to Salvation Army and things like that. So. I'm tired. Back to the story. Yeah, we're tired. We're going to bed. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Oh, we forgot about these lights. We're Damn the it! Switch. It's all the way in the front. <laughs> <laughs>we have everything sort of packed up. We're bringing some more things to Salvation Army. Another full card to Salvation Army. Yeah. And then we're dropping off Mongo, which is yeah. what do you how what, it's like copper and stuff like that and steel that we were using and and uh, you bring it back and you get some money back for it. So we're gonna make some money. We're gonna donate some stuff and then we're gonna get a coffee so that we can handle the rest of our day. See you guys at the next stop. Pro tip: test your water system before you put all of your stuff into it because if you don't something like this might happen so basically what happened was is the water filtration system that we have is the only thing leaking uh, I found one other spot that was leaking a little bit and that was that was in the back on the water filter um, which I tightened up already and that's fixed oh shit that's like a lot of water this began a really fun two hours of plugging one leak after the next we had to take everything out that we'd already packed into the car to figure out what the problem was. Turns out we had two main issues. Under the sink, the water filtration system wasn't gasketed properly, so it was just flowing all over the place. And in the back, the pump was pumping so much pressure without any kind of regulation that it was just blowing the lines. So we have to buy a new light bulb for the filtration and a whole new pump. Damn, yeah, man, this is not going good today. But at least we're learning everything that we did wrong and it's not happening while we're on the road right now because that could be way worse. All right, it's 8.30. We're officially moved out of our apartment. It's about time. <laughs> and we're about three days late. Three days late and at least like six hours today. Yeah. Yeah. And we ran into a bunch of problems as you guys can see. Uh, but we are now officially about to get on the road, so. Uh, but this is the beginning of at least a yeah, year. But now we don't have an apartment. No. Nope. We're literally living in the van. Yeah. Everything that we own is in this van. Yes. Yeah. So uh, wish us luck. So we're gonna sign off for now. We're gonna drive for like two hours and see where we get, and sleep somewhere. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'll give you a quick view of the morning, and then we'll see you in the next video. So when we wake up, we should be in Stratton. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully. All right, see you there. Peace, guys. Bye.